Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to record CSGO with the new FFmpeg feature within HLE. So to begin with, obviously we're going to need to download HLE. So head over to advancedeffects.org and download the latest version here. Once we have that done, we need to head over here and download the latest uh, FFmpeg build. Click Windows build down here and download it here. Once you have that, go ahead and extract HLE to a folder. Just like that. Once we have that, open up the folder, head of it into the FFmpeg folder like so. Open up the uh, FFmpeg zip, just extract everything into here. Once we have that done, just go back and open up HLE. Make sure you click yes for automatically check for updates. Go to file, launch CSGO or CSGO.exe. Go ahead and select your CSGO.exe and yours will most likely be installed wherever you have Steam. Go ahead and select that like so. For movie making config parent, uh, you can go ahead and enable this and put the directory of your movie making config. For graphic resolution, go ahead and set up a custom resolution. I'm going to do 1920 by 810. And uh, everything else, you can pretty much leave the faults and just press launch. Alright, once you have CSGO launched, you should see this Valve anti cheat message pop up. That means HLE is working. Just press OK. Press Shift F2 on your keyboards and press load. Go ahead and open up a demo. All right, so once you're in your demo, you can go ahead and exec all your movie making configs and commands and stuff like that. And use the demo underscore go to tick command to get to wherever you want to record. All right, so once you've gotten to wherever you want to record, uh, we can go ahead and add a Merv Streams layer. So to record with FFmpeg, we need to use Merv Streams. So we need to go ahead and actually add a layer to begin with. So Merv Streams adds. I'm just going to add a normal layer and call mine test like so. And now we can go ahead and select a preset for FFmpeg. So to see all the presets, just type Merv Streams settings print like so. So here are all the defaults uh, presets that come with HLE. So the first two classic and default from my testing, um, these two just record with the normal way with the uh, TJ files and you have to use virtual dub to stitch them together. Same with the AFX sampler 30. This one records as well with TJ files, but this one records at whatever frame rate uh, you record at, but then samples it down to 30 FPS. And this will give you pretty much natural motion blur. And it looks quite good actually. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And uh, to select the preset, what we need to just do is type Merv, Merv Streams, Edit, and the name of your layer. So I've, my, I've called mine Test, and just type Settings. And then we can go ahead and select the preset. So I'm just going to do uh, Lossless Best, so like that. Just paste it in. And there we go. We've selected the preset. And to start recording, just type Merv underscore Streams, Record start like so but i actually want to show you how to create a custom preset for ffmpeg as well so i'm gonna get rid of that and actually remove the layer as well like so okay so i need to add another layer because i removed it and call mine i'm just going to use another normal layer call my test again like so. so all right so to create a preset what we need to do is type merv underscore streams settings add ffmpeg and we can go ahead and give your preset a name so i'm gonna call it custom like so space quotation uh dash c colon v space uh lib x264 space dash presets and i'm going to do ultra fast uh, space dash crf and now we can go ahead and choose the value of what we want to record at so the lower the number the bigger the file will be but the higher the quality it will be as well if you put a high number in the file size will be smaller but the quality obviously is going to be worse so i'm just going to do 15 for this tutorial uh, once you've selected a value like that just do space type cursor brackets Quote, another bracket, AFX underscore stream underscore path. OK, 
cursor bracket again, backslash video dot mp4 bracket again, quote, another bracket, and then quotation like so. Once you have that, just press enter, and now you've added a preset. So you can go ahead and see it by typing the stream settings print like so. And there we have it, custom is up there. If you'd like to read more about creating a custom preset for FFmpeg, there are loads of FFmpeg guides on YouTube. You can just uh, look them up and you can learn more about it. Uh, you can also head over to this page here and it gives you a bunch of information of uh, creating presets and stuff like that and what all the uh, commands do. Uh, this is a pretty good read if you'd like to know more about it. And then we can go ahead and select it for recording. So like before, just do Merv Streams uh, Edit, the name of your uh, layer, mine's called test, settings, and I'm do custom, like so. And once we have that, we can go ahead and select the frame rate we want to record at, just do host underscore frame rate, and I'm going to do 150, like so, host underscore time scale, set that to zero as well. To start recording, just type Merv streams record start, like so, press enter, going to start recording, like so, just go ahead and play it. Alright, to stop recording, just type most streams record end, like so, and it will stop recording. You can go ahead and type quit out of that. Alright, so once we have that done, we can go ahead and head over to your directory for CSGO, like so, and there should be a folder called Untitled Rec, and take 000, and there we have the recording. As you can see, it's 113 megabytes, and open up, and the uh, quality is actually pretty decent. So that is the recording with the custom preset with uh, CRF15. You can go ahead and use it as well if you want. Uh, the quality probably isn't going to be the same when you watch it on YouTube, but hopefully it's good enough for you to see. As you can see, here are all the different presets that I've recorded. I'm just going to play them. Hopefully the quality is decent enough for you guys to see. Now for the AFX Sample 30, you can see that this one has actually natural motion blur built into the clip, like so, and it has an uh, output frame rate of 30. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, so now I'm going to show you um, one of the drawbacks with recording with this method. Uh, depending on what uh, preset you choose, um, it may not work with all programs. So if I drag in FX FFmpeg into uh, Vegas 14, as you can see here, um, uh, it doesn't really work. It's just a green for me. Um, it may differ depending on what program you use. So if you're using a new version of Vegas, it might work. I'm not sure because I don't have it. Uh, here's another one. Uh, it also doesn't work for me. Uh, this one also doesn't work. And uh, now we have actually one that works. Uh, as you can see, AFX FFmpeg YUV420P. This one works for me, as you can see. Uh, it appears like so. And the AFX Sampler as well also appears because it records using the uh, traditional TGA methods. So yeah, that's pretty much one of the major drawbacks with this. Um, it may not work depending on what program you use. Uh, it may work for After Effects, I'm not sure, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, if you're using newer versions of the programs, it may work. Also, I recommend checking out this post by Purple CSGO on the AFX GitHub. It's a post about a custom config that he has made, where you can easily select uh, custom presets that he has made himself. Uh, he also has a guide on his website, where you can uh, uh, pretty much see a bunch of other stuff in detail as well, as well as the config, which is here. Uh, I'll leave links in the description to these pages here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.